There's a scene where we were filming and we came across a pair of women's shoes yeah. next to a pair of girls' shoes. These were people. These were people. Those shoes got the, to the bottom double, double. on people. They were in their cabin yeah. because the cabin was all around. Can you imagine the secrets and stories that the depths of the icy North Atlantic have concealed for over a century? They lie encased in the remnants of one of history's most famous tragedies, the RMS Titanic. Once on a prestigious journey from Southampton, England to New York, the Titanic and the majority of its passengers never made it to their destination. But in 1985, the long lost shipwreck was unearthed. Now, join us as we plunge into the heart of the deep sea, revealing some of the most shocking and eerie discoveries made within the Titanic's watery grave. Piece by Chilling Peace will unravel the history of this devastating tragedy. You won't want to miss this gripping undersea journey that brings the past back to life. Number 10. An 18 karat gold necklace. During its maiden voyage, the Titanic carried some of the world's most influential and wealthy people. Upper-class citizens, politicians, high-ranking military personnel, lawyers, and bankers were but a few of the ship's many passengers. When you have people like this congregating in one place, they will undoubtedly compete to show off their luxury items. The explorers recovered numerous expensive items, yet none may be as luxurious as this 18 karat gold necklace. In 2017, the Luxor Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas opened an exhibition dedicated to the artifacts recovered from the Titanic. This was to commemorate the 105th anniversary of the ship sinking to its eternal home deep in the icy waters of the North Atlantic. Among the items of interest was an 18 karat gold necklace that once belonged to a passenger named Virginia Estelle McDowell Clark. Virginia had been traveling with her husband Walter back to their home in Los Angeles following a honeymoon in Europe. The newlyweds decided to cut their trip short as they wanted to return to their son who awaited them in America. Both were first class passengers and assumed they'd be safe on the unsinkable vessel. Unfortunately, Virginia would be the only one to make it back to their son. Just like in the movie, only women and children could board the lifeboats, and Walter waited behind, unfazed as the ship began to sink. Both hoped to be reunited one day, but that was not the case. Number 9. A violin belonging to Wallace Hartley One of the best-known discoveries from the Titanic shipwreck is a violin used by Wallace Hartley. He and his fellow performers were etched into history following their heroic actions on this fateful night. The band offered to stay behind and play music in an attempt to calm the passengers' anxious minds during the turbulent night. After the ship hit the iceberg, an eight-piece band played the hymn, Nearer My God to Thee. As the ship's passengers began loading onto the lifeboats, the violin, alongside Hartley's body, was later discovered by the cable ship McKay Bennett. The violin was returned to his former fiancée, Maria Robinson, who eventually sold it at auction some years later to a private collector for an astonishing 1.7 million pounds. The musical instrument has made an appearance at several exhibitions since the sale, but as of today, its current whereabouts are unknown. Even today, the violin, along with the band, stands as a symbol of heroism and selflessness. The performers stayed on board the sinking ship, knowing that certain death likely awaited them. The bravery of people such as this shows the spirit of human compassion even in the darkest of times. Number 8. The Discovery of Three Corpses on a Lifeboat One of the most horrific Titanic discoveries comes to us in the form of a written account centered on a lifeboat that held three human corpses. Drifting 200 miles from where the ship sank, a vessel called RMS Oceanic noticed something rather unusual in the distance. As they approached the small boat, they discovered the unrecognizable remains of three men. The note, written by an unidentified source, describes three males who clearly died from exposure to the cold weather. One of the men had the remains of a dinner jacket on his torso. The other two were firefighters from the engine room who had somehow ended up wedged beneath the seats. Upon further investigation, the ship's boarding officer had a frightening experience. As he explored the remains, one of the corpse's arms came off into his hands. The remains were not the only find on the ship. A golden ring was discovered. This helped historians during the identification process, as the ring belonged to Swedish passenger Ellen Gerda. She briefly made it to the last lifeboat, yet was later discovered to have drowned after complications with the boat. 
The story is an incredibly graphic account of the steps that followed after the ship's sinking. Not only did many passengers lose their lives on the Titanic, but those who thought they were safe also fell victim to the harsh Atlantic Sea. Number 7. A pair of leather boots belonging to a crew member. As we look back to the disaster that was the sinking of the Titanic, sometimes it's hard to imagine what it would have been like during the chaos that ensued that night. But when we find items like this beaten up pair of leather boots once worn by a member of the ship's crew, it sheds some insight into the sacrifices made during that catastrophic event. The owner of the boots was probably on duty as the ship began to sink and was likely involved in the evacuation process. They would have been escorting the passengers to the nearest emergency exits as water began filling the ship's lower sections, a terrifying experience that most of us will likely never have to experience. As this pair of boots sits on display in a museum, they now stand as a reminder of the bravery of all crew members who sacrificed their lives to save as many women and children as possible. It shows us that even in times of disaster, anyone can be a hero if they choose to be. Ready to dive deeper? Hit like and subscribe faster than the Titanic hit the iceberg. Join the Magma Storm crew and let's make waves together. Number 6. A Bronze Cherub The Titanic Inc. couldn't believe their eyes when they recovered a bronze cherub at the salvage site in 1987. This rare bronze statue portraying an elegant angel once served as a decorative light fixture on one of the ship's grand stairways. The artifact is the only one of its kind to have been recovered from the wreckage. Its small size may indicate that it once sat on one of the ship's smaller stairways. The figure is in an incredible state of preservation, considering it's been under the Atlantic Sea for over seven decades. The statue was missing its left foot and torch, which may have been lost when it was ripped from its post as great quantities of water began smashing their way through the sinking ship. However, it is still a uniquely beautiful piece and a historical reminder of the craftsmanship that went into the interior design of the Titanic. Number 5. A Selection of Perfumes On a salvage mission back in 2000, RMS Titanic Inc. came across a rather unusual leather pouch that lay among the deteriorating ship. Dick Barton, a member of the team, recalls they had no idea what they had found until they reached the surface. Upon opening the small pouch, they found an entire collection of Edwardian perfume. In total, there were around 62 vials of early 20th century fragrances that historians believe belonged to the renowned perfume maker Adolf Salfeld. Adolf was a first-class passenger traveling from Manchester. As the ship began to sink, he left all of his valuables behind but was one of the few fortunate men to receive a spot on a lifeboat. After being retrieved from the depths of the Atlantic Ocean, scientists were able to break down the component chemicals and recreate the scent. Thus, Salfelt's aromas were given a new lease of life. Two new perfumes were created. One had a delicate lemon and Nerola smell, while another was considered a warm, blushing rose. Number 4. The Human Remains When divers first made it down to the Titanic, they were astonished to find skeletons of the victims who had passed during the ship's sinking. While you might think, well, of course, skeletons were discovered, as during this horrendous night, more than half of the ship perished. But it's actually the opposite. The chemical makeup at this depth breaks down human bones quickly due to its acidic nature. With this discovery in the mid-80s, some of the deceased individual's remains were recovered and brought to the surface. The harsh ocean conditions left many of the remains in an incredibly poor state of preservation, making identification almost impossible. Ultimately, many of the remains were buried in cemeteries in Halifax, Nova Scotia, as this was close to the discovery site. However, a small portion was correctly identified using dental records and could be shipped home for a proper burial, but most were never claimed and were laid to rest in unmarked graves. It's a tragedy that many of the Titanic's victims were never identified and their families will never know where they are buried. It will forever serve as a reminder of the devastating loss of life that occurred on that fateful night many years ago. Number 3. A Large Section of the Ship Due to the harsh conditions at the depth where the Titanic now rests, a vast portion of the ship has deteriorated into dust. But that doesn't mean nothing is left. Divers working at the salvage did manage to bring a large part of the ship's hull to the surface. But you may be asking yourself, why is a massive chunk of a sunken ship such a big deal? Nicknamed the Big Piece, this part of the ship's hull weighs an estimated 15 tons. It was first discovered in 1994 and an attempt to bring it to the surface in 1996 failed when the cable holding it snapped. 
It was finally brought to the surface in 1998 and is by far the largest Titanic artifact ever pulled up from the salvage site. Upon closer inspection, researchers were able to identify the piece came from the ship's starboard side. The portholes still have their glass, and this enormous piece is on display to this day. It's a reminder that even thick steel is no match for the strength of the ocean. Those who have stood beside the exhibition explain that a tingling feeling comes over them during the experience. Others suggest it's almost as if you're standing beside the Titanic itself. All will agree it brings about a close connection to the doomed ship that sank all those decades ago. Number 2. The Heart of the Ocean If you've ever watched the movie based on the sinking of the Titanic, chances are you've seen the elegant necklace referred to as the Heart of the Ocean. This beautiful blue diamond necklace ultimately ends up at the bottom of the sea in the film. As you probably know, this fictitious piece of jewelry was never on the ship. However, a team of scientists did find a precious necklace that rivals that of the heart of the ocean seen in the movie. A scientific research team discovered a unique necklace during the largest underwater scanning project in history. The golden artifact had a tooth of a prehistoric shark called a megalodon, a species of shark that lived more than 23 million years ago. This elaborate necklace would have certainly been the topic of many conversations on the Titanic and would have been considered a fairly expensive item during the era. Unfortunately, it's unlikely that the item will return to the surface anytime soon. An agreement between the UK and the United States prevents any member of the public from removing artifacts from the shipwreck. Nonetheless, it's still considered one of the most valuable items ever discovered at the site. Number 1. The Bronze Deck Bell on the night that the Titanic fatally collided with the gigantic iceberg, it was not without warning. Frederick Fleet was the ship's lookout on call that night, and as he began to see the enormous block of ice emerging from the darkness of night, he immediately ran to the ship's bell to warn the captain and crew. But unfortunately, it was too little, too late. Upon the discovery of the Titanic, this bell was one of the first items to be recovered and brought to the shores. The item was initially found by the company Titanic Inc., which had the rights to salvage the wreckage. It was later donated to the Maritime Museum of the Atlantic, located in Halifax, Nova Scotia. The find is important for many reasons. It is one of the few remaining pieces of equipment that would have sat high on the ship's crow's nest. The bronze artifacts serve as a reminder of the part the crew plays during their time on a ship. But unfortunately, even the best prepared ships are not immune from disasters striking at any moment. That's our video on the 10 most shocking discoveries made on the Titanic. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, and subscribe to MagmaStorm for more intriguing historical explorations. Leave a comment below to tell us which of the items you found the most interesting. Thanks for watching.